this may be unique to the particular site where I was having my testing done at uh, Columbia University. It seemed that the research coordinator that I worked with had a, had a lot of patients on her hands. So oftentimes I would go to the, the site and there would be long waiting periods. And while um, the process itself was very straightforward, uh, just the number of people who were at the clinical trial site waiting to see the research coordinator, um, as well as you know, folks running late, often resulted in long waiting time. So what was supposed to be a few couple hour, couple hour, maybe three hour visits for the longer periods where I would need to have an EKG done on the site, um, ended up taking almost the full day. So I think in hindsight, if I were uh, being introduced to the possibility of being a, a participant in a research, um, in a trial, I would want to know, you know, uh, not just the commute time, but maybe the number of people who would also be participating, not necessarily obviously their names or personal information, but the number of folks that would be assigned to the same researcher, um, just so I can better understand uh, the expectations for me and, and how to be prepared as soon as I get there. Um, because I was able to work remotely, sometimes I would often bring my laptop to the site uh, in order to get some work done while I was waiting. So again, I think this goes back to having an option to do a televisit or do blood draws or, or urine analysis outside of the testing site and simply come in on a regular basis uh, to meet with a coordinator.